How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this brief tutorial we're going to take a look at the Godot engine. We're going to create a new project and we're going to set up a title screen. We're going to keep this very short and tight, very specific. Let's look at this one aspect. I'll have several different tutorials and uh, we'll look at one little thing in each tutorial so that it doesn't get too bloated. So it, once you load up Godot engine, um, create a new project, give it a name, select a, f a file path, and for this we're going to use OpenGL ES3, which you could use 2.0, most of the stuff will be the same. So let's create and edit. And then we're, we're going to click over to the 2D scene, so I'm going to be making a 2D game. First thing you want to do is figure out what's the resolution of your game, what kind of uh, game do you want to make. In this there's not a genre yet, we're going to make a title screen, but I do know my resolution. I want it to be half of 1280 by 720, so we're going to do 640 by 360. So I'm going to go to project, then I'm going to click on project settings, I'm going to scroll down to window, and then I'm going to select my width here by double clicking 640, and then for my height I'm going to say 360. So once we've got that, I'm going to make sure that resizable is on. You can change these settings however you like. But I do want to change one thing on the stretch right here. If you don't change this disabled to viewport or to 2D, then it, when you full screen, it'll show your window in a little tiny corner of the entire thing. So full screen won't look right like you think it should. So go to stretch and change the mode and that'll make, sure when, make it so when you hit that full screen button, it'll actually look proper it'll look right, it'll stretch it. Um, so this is a node-based engine. I don't want to get into uh, too much about it in specifics. We're going to do one little thing at a time. So you're looking at this blank screen, you don't know what is going on. First thing I want you to do is click on 2D scene. So we're going to create our root node. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. I'm still new to the engine, but um, I figure by trying to teach the engine, I will probably get better at it myself. The things that I've learned, I'll put in a tutorial. So we've got our, our root node 2D, and we want to make a background. So if we hit, we can test our game by hitting play up here, uh, but before it lets you play, you have to save a scene. So you can either hit file, save, or save as, or you can hit play, and we're gonna try to save our scene. So this is gonna be called our title. Screen. So we're going to call this title screen.tscn and hit save. And now we've created our, our root node. This is uh, going to be what our game looks like right now. And if we full screen, it's actually stretching it. So that I mean, you can't really tell because it's all gray, but it's there. So here's our um, resource tree. What we need to do is put some resources into here. And what's really good about um, Godot is that it it updates automatically so if you go into the folder and add resources it will update just like that uh, alternatively you can just add um, resources in here I'm going to just put in uh, a new folder so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say create a new folder and we're gonna call this images and then inside of images I'm gonna make another new folder and I'm gonna call it uh, title I guess and so we can look inside there Let's open up our, our games path. So in order to open our folder, we're gonna click on images or anywhere inside our resources. And we're gonna say open in file manager. And that's going to show where we've saved our game. In this case, drive F, Godot, tutorials and images. So inside of this, uh, this folder, we need to put our art file. So you're gonna make your title image or your background art in Photoshop or GIMP. Uh, I've already done that uh, to save time for this tutorial. So let's say you've already made your, your background image and I'm gonna import that here. So this is just the text. I've just made some text. And let's go ahead and add this. So uh, because we put this in images uh, inside our, our actual folder, it should have already added it. There it is. It'll refresh this and then it adds it right here. So what we can do is left click this PNG that we just added to the folder and drag it inside. Uh, you'll see that it created a sprite node for you already as a child of our node 2D root. Uh, so we can move it around and place it like this graphically. We can use the middle mouse to move in and out. Uh, and you'll see that our box changed, uh, the little area right here changed based on our project settings. So we can also set it manually and, and change many things inside the inspector. So to do that, let's take a look at it real quick. We'll click on the object properties, expand all properties, and then um, we can change the position. So the position is the center point here. And if we set it to uh, 
our game's resolution is going to put the center point in the bottom right. So if we set this to 0, 0, it's going to put it in the top. So what we need to do is either manually do it, like I, I'm doing here, or you can divide your resolution in half. So 360 or 640 divided by 2 is 320. And then you've got 360 divided by 2, so you got 180. <clears throat> so we've put it directly in the center of the screen. And if we were to hit play, then we can test that. Uh, so now it's saying that there's, there's no main scene that's been defined. So we need to select what is our main scene. We've already decided to save our first scene as title screen. So we're going to set title screen as our main screen. We're just going to click on that and say open. And now it's set that as our main screen. So our game technically runs and it stretches to be full screen. And we've got our text, our salmon game text. Of course, you can uh, call it whatever you want. But if we wanted a background image, we could put the background image on that same uh, image, but we don't have to. So let's go ahead and, and do another process by adding an image in the background. I've already gone ahead and added the title art for the background to save time. This is a piece of art made by my beautiful wife. And we're gonna drag that in and drop it right into the scene. You'll see that it will ask you, This is it'll know that it's a sprite, but what do you want it to, to be added as the node? Put it as a sprite. We're gonna say, okay, it's a sprite. And we can do the same thing with its placement. We can manually place it. Or what I like to do is expand all properties and then put this in the position zero, zero for this one. The origin is in the top left. It's You can say zero, zero for this one. Um, you'll notice it if you say zero, zero and it goes to the top. Now you'll notice again that uh, we've lost, you may notice that we've lost our title. That's because we made the title art a child of this object, which to move that around, we're just gonna left click on title art and drag it up. And then what we can do is bring this underneath it. So now we're saying, First, I want you to draw the title art, and then I want you to put the game title uh, on top of that. So it's gonna draw these things in order, and you can always toggle them on and off like so. But that's basically it for this tutorial. We're gonna say scene, save all the scenes, and then we're gonna play. And now we have our title screen, basic title screen, and then it also will go full screen. We've got a background image, and we've got uh, some text. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to make the, the title go up and down with the animation and maybe add some buttons or something, but that'll be it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more Godot tutorials, let me know what you would like to see specifically in the comments below. Also, come hang out in the Discord. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I do here on this channel. We also have a Patreon. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.